Hey guys, we're going to talk about solar dominoes today. These are the four P's of closing any solar deal. It's actually true for any sales, but we're going to talk about it specifically with solar today. And perhaps you're wondering, that appointment went so good. I thought I had a good rapport with them and they loved the solar, but they didn't buy. Or perhaps you're thinking they love solar. They said they wanted to go solar, but they came up with some reason not to purchase. So here's the theory on solar dominoes. If you knock down all four of these, uh, the four P's down, your customer will feel, here's the main word, comfortable to buy from you and go solar with you. So the first P in solar dominoes is you, the person. So they have to be comfortable with you. That's probably why if you've ever done a sales training, they're always talking about rapport, rapport, rapport. If someone is not comfortable with you, they are never going to buy. That's it. If you're not comfortable, you don't know how to build rapport, we can talk about that later in another training. Uh, but it's really important. Uh, one suggestion I'll give is give at least 10 or 15 minutes at the beginning of the conversation to get to understand who this person is you're with and to understand what they want. I will give you this little tip though for rapport. It's not about them liking or knowing you. It's about you making them feel like you understand them. Again, not about you, it's about them. That's truly what rapport building is. Number two is the place. Well, the place is the business, your location. They have to be comfortable from buying from your company. If they love you, but your company's got one star reviews, then they're probably not gonna buy from you. So you have to explain the benefits, explain the customer experience, the social proof on why your company is the right place for them to go. Again, that's two dominoes. Now they're comfortable with you. Then they're comfortable with your business, your, the place. The third is the product. Again, they love you. But if they don't understand solar, if solar's big and scary, they're not going to buy from you. So you have to give some attention for them to understanding just the basics of solar. Number four is the price. Now, as we know, for many people, if they're simply going to be paying the same or less with their uh, solar payment than they would before, then they're very likely to feel very enthusiastic about buying from you. Or depending if it's a lease or cash purchase, if they understand the economics of it, then they're going to feel comfortable. Or if they're comparing your price to another company, you need to show your value. You need to get them comfortable with the price. And that's it. That's really an entire sales presentation wrapped up in those solar dominoes. Build rapport, get them comfortable with you, the person, the place, your company, the product, the solar panels, the solar installation, and then the price, and that's it. If this video has been helpful to you, if all of a sudden you realize, hey, I just went from a 20% close rate to 35% just by making sure they were comfortable with the four Ps, then please write me back. Let me know if this is helpful to you, if this content is helpful. I suspect most of you are already implementing many of these things, if you're not, even if you're not thinking about it. But put a little forethought into it and make sure you really are knocking down all those dominoes as you go through the presentation. If you're missing just one, then they're not going to buy. And if this video is helpful, please like it. Please comment. If you have any suggestions and other content you want me to provide, please let me know. I want to be here to help the solar professionals and the solar business owners out there. And also, please join my Facebook page. Uh, the link will be below, but it's basically Solar Pro Community. My goal is to provide as much helpful information for you guys. I've been in this industry for 12 plus years. And my goal at this point in my career, I want to share what I have. I feel like I have so much that I just want to share with you guys. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you, guys.